What a great way to finish the day. We are at Ohio Fish Rescue. We are swimming with the monster fish. They got a great pond today. And look at this, Paul Cafaro surfacing from below the deep. All right, we're pulling up. It's the next morning, and look who we picked up on the side of the road. He's still sleeping. Mr. Paul Kafaro with his blonde hair. And here we are. Wait, where is everybody? There's a lot of big rock. There is the pond. It's almost done. It's almost filled up. Good morning. Doing great. What's up, brother? And so here we go. It's almost time. We just got to just uh, put the fish in, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. We've had a massive amount of rain here. We had Tony come out here with his guys at Pondscapes of Ohio and do the prep work. Yeah, this is good gonna be awesome. Little muddy, but awesome. Good morning. Okay, so Chris, did you already tell people about how the only way a build a pond day works is if everybody gets their hands dirty? That's it. <laughs> I'm walking through the uh, safety concerns, making sure we take the right precautions here, and then letting them know it's 20 steps, 20 products. That's what we got going on here. You guys came to get dirty, yes? Yeah. yeah. All right. Big Rich and I met last April. We came here in February. We built your indoor pool and turned it into a pond, and then we decided this is an unbelievable place, but there's nothing from the curve that really sets it off. Now, how many people have not been inside yet? While they're unloading the new rocks that got here because they delivered the raw rocks, welcome to a build a pond day. Why don't we walk around the back and we can walk in and actually see what Ohio Fish Rescue is all about. And then you'll know the challenge that we're gonna have today, try to mimic what's inside, outside. This was a swimming pool and he turned it into this natural pond that I can keep my true monsters in that were in smaller tanks. Now they get to live out their life in luxury here. And your face and your tanks are freed up. Face and the tanks are freed up for other rescues, exactly. These are the koi that are currently in a 500 gallon indoor pond, and we're gonna actually take these and put them outside in the pond that we're building today. Wow. Pretty serious hobbyists, huh guys? So you see what we're up against, creating a nice pond outside. <laughs> see we're running out of room and these guys here the problem I have with everybody is I feed them and they all come over to one little area and then I video this and people are like oh my god you've got them crammed in a too small a tank now I pan over to the empty side of the tank because <laughs> they're all over here and from the camera that looks packed but it is too small of a tank for them they can swim from here to there they can turn around and swim back so uh, a nice pond would be good for them and not to mention clear up tanks i've got a lot more koi on the back porch that we didn't have room in here to bring in they're in a pool on the back porch right now this is steve poland from steve poland cichlids is that the name of the channel steve poland aquatics now and this is the guy that paul and i originally saw that had introduced us to big rich and this is your very first time seeing the pool that we converted into a pond what do you think bro unbelievable i just can't believe that it went from an idea he almost didn't talk about it and i almost cut it actually left it in you saw it yeah not even six months ago i'll put a link to steve's video down here that he did it has millions of views that's how paul and i discovered this place and said let's go see it now today not only does he have a pool that's converted into a pond but he's getting an outdoor pond too glad you're here steve so chris tell me what happened with these rocks the pallet disintegrated underneath it when we went to go pick it up it all caved inside so it actually helped us because it could bust up some of the larger boulders in the smaller ones and we have an inexperienced driver he's kind of quaking in his boots a little bit <laughs> the bottom line was they got us two bigger rocks. They didn't fill the order correctly, so they brought some smaller rocks today, correct? correct. What do so, you always say? A life without problems? All business is is fixing problems. <laughs> We have a goal on a one-day standard project. As a team, this pond has got to be dug, lined, rocked in, and filling before we take a bite of our sandwich. Here's the man that did the excavation. How you doing, Tony? Tell us what you did here when you got in here. We had a backhoe attachment for the little ditch which we had. We originally built it about 11 by 16 size. Then they delivered more rocks than we expected. 15 tons of rocks instead of seven. So we made the pond as big as we could in there. We expanded it at the last minute. Talked to Big Rich about where we could fit it and so forth. So we kind of shrunk the stream size down a little bit and made the pond a little bit bigger. Yep. We put a larger bio falls on there and we upgraded the pump instead of a 3,000. We put the aqua surge 4 to 8,000 on there. Thanks for all the work ahead of time. Anytime. And uh, you're out of Youngstown, Ohio, which is about an hour from here. Yes. Uh, what year is this for you as a certified contractor? 23 years. Chris, it's 9.07. Are you going to talk all day? That's a pot calling the <laughs> We're going to drag the liner back in. We're going to pull off the liner. We're going to give it some slack. We don't want it nice and taut in there. We don't want it stretched. We got plenty of liner here. We're going to pull that out and then we're going to show you to start the chain game, get the rocks down in here, and then I want you guys flying with it. Okay. 
So Rich, what do you think, brother? I think this is a madhouse. It's crazy. Yeah. When we want something done, you get it done. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Are you excited? Oh yeah. Tracy's ecstatic back there. Finish this sentence. Happy wife. Happy life. <laughs> hey. So Chris, what do we got going on here, buddy? Controlled chaos. What I love about this rod, first of all, is how it fits together. See these angles? When we set them, if you look inside the ponds, they fit together like Tetris. It's like paint by number. And what I was telling the guys, don't lose sleep over the stone. Flip it, twist it, set it, walk away. Yep, look at this guy. 52 degrees and he's in a sleeveless shirt. Hey, you guys having fun? Working hard. Dad, Dad is dirtier than you are, son. What's going What's going on here, bro? I can't say this, but that's the normal situation. <laughs> oh, <laughs> millennial, hop, yeah. hop. So, Tony, what are you doing here, buddy? Big Rich has asked specifically for a spot for his fish to hide. He had this in the back, it's uh, leftover from one of his projects. Yeah, Imagine that. This into a fish cave. Right now, our talk here to put it here. They already took this wall apart. They'll re rock in front of here as if it's the wall. And hopefully, with the gravel over the top and the rocks here locking it in, you won't be able to see it. The fish should be able to swim through here, through here, and it'll just look like rock openings in the rock. Okay, Brad, get at it. Is this a Paul Cafaro fan? Yeah, what's your name? Joe. Joe? Really? This fish is known as. Frank. <laughs> Have you met Paul before? No. Would you like to meet him? Yeah. A little bit more enthusiasm. Yeah. All right. <laughs> you know me? Right. What? What's my name? Craig. There you go. How old are you, Joe? 12. 12 years old. I was 12 years old, Mom, when I built my first pond. So, Joe, what do you think? What do you think of Paul? Is he all right, dude? <laughs> <I'm a little laughs> what do you like about Paul? Fish and personality. Oh. Ah. Hey. Wait, what about the yellow hair? Yeah. <laughs> I like this kid even better. This is going pretty flawlessly. So far, so good. I don't want to jinx us up here. We got it all rocked in. You see the shape coming together. The cool thing is we're going to have a beach entrance here so Rich and Tracy can get down into it. We're hiding the skimmer face plate. Yeah, show us that, Dan. Can you show us how you're using the Aquascape Driftwood to do that? What we're going to do, you want to frame this in on both sides. If we don't have something covering this right here, sometimes the eye goes right here. Yes. And you can see that. So what Aquascapes did is they came up with a nice solution to cover this up. Yep, so that'll Boom. just, you'll just fix that in there and that will be the little thing to hide the skimmer. And so this is actually a resin material. It'll never decompose and you can put it in the stream or you can put it in front of the skimmer faceplate. So it is just after 11 o'clock. Are you guys impressed with the progress? Yes, absolutely. Okay. We're gonna start washing the gravel down because it's pretty much rocked in right now. Now and only now do we start working outside the pond. If you were spending the time doing this in the morning and we weren't focused on this, we wouldn't be able to fill this thing up by lunchtime. We wouldn't be able to finish in one day. Our one day pond would be come to everything gets thrown off so because we have so many people here as this is being washed down we're going to start excavating that waterfall right there is probably only 20 inches above water grade the number one problem that i see with people building water features when they come to the waterfalls is they want three or four or five foot high waterfalls in a flat area just over two feet is plenty high a big frame boulder on this side a big frame boulder on this side and a nice cascading waterfall right in here that we can maybe put an underwater light so that everybody driving up to this place is gonna see this. This thing's gonna pop out at night and water is gonna be shivering off this house. So we're gonna have one big waterfall and maybe two smaller ones, a little stream going in here. And this is gonna be an absolutely beautiful thing that sets off this property for everybody to come in. Rich, what do you think of that? I'm loving this. First rule of business when you're building water features, do not give the customers what they ask for. Give them what they want and Rich wanted a natural looking waterfall. Good working guys with this, uh, this pond build, huh? When was the first time you went to a build a pond day? About seven years after I started building ponds. I love networking with these guys. I love seeing everybody get, get in and get dirty. Who cares about the mud, right? I, mean, <laughs> I, I can tell that you don't care about the mud there, brother. Yeah. So Paul, why don't you introduce Joe to the camera and what we're going to be doing in, in June at his backyard. I'll build you an aquascape ecosystem pond in your own backyard. I'll be there, I'll film it. They'll be there, they'll film it. It's going to be a blast. Then you put whatever you want. Is this a good 12th birthday party for you? It gets cold in Chicago, so you might not want to put like the fish we have here at Ohio. But you can put koi fish, goldfish. No. no. <laughs> we're going to put some koi fish yeah, koi in there. Fish. Mom, are you in agreement of this? Yes. You got the yes? big hug for your mom. Taking you, getting in at three in the morning, coming all the way in. Next time you'll see this guy, Joe, will be in his backyard. 
What's the story here, bro? Uh, my buddy Brian, he'll be out here shortly. He uh, made some brisket for everybody. Not wow. bad. It smells good. Rich, you, you're a vegetarian, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go with that. <laughs> Teamwork. All right, Dan, where are we at, buddy? So we got our power head in, our fish treadmill. Yes, it is. So that's a pretty sweet, slick product right there. It's new this season from Aquascape, and uh, Big Rich's fish absolutely love it inside. So that's gonna create current. And the reason they put it over here, it's right next to the waterfall. It's gonna push all the debris over into the skimmer over on that side. Grab that side, you grab that side, put it back. Some big boys. See if you can get it right in there. Dan, you're a smart man to point the finger. <laughs> I'm an old man to point the finger. We want to try to get the water diverted over the top of the rocks. Water's going to go in through here. So foam all this up in through here. <laughs> so then just cover it right up with some gravel. And have a stick. That way the gravel won't jump out and over. So Tony, what are you doing here, buddy? Checking water level. This is set with where the water level could be at the utmost highest on the skimmer. The face plate in here is adjustable, so if we make a mistake or we want to lower it, we got about four inches to play with. Yep. Yeah. The bottom of that stick is where the water level's at right now, based yep. on how the skimmer's set. So they're cleaning up the liner over here. Down here, we need these rocks. Here, over here, we didn't. So they're putting this driftwood piece in here to try to naturalize it, make it look like it's been here for years. Okay. Just start on one side, like that. Okay. Yeah. Now the water will come here and go out. Did you see how fast we did that? If I don't like it, I can redo it. I still don't like this gap. I want to put another stone in here or something, or a plant or something, because I don't like this face and this face. We'll put some more gravel in here. But on the overall, we got our frame rock, we got our waterfall stone. Now we're ready to rock in the rest of this. All right, Paul, why don't you guys work on that right now? <laughs> we are one hour away from firing up this waterfall. Let's get this upper pool rocked in. Okay, we're putting in the lights and the auto doser that will keep the pond clean. The water is going into the skimmer basket. Edging is done on this side. Edging, we've got a little beach area over here. We're gonna finish this edge over here in the next 10 minutes. We've got the biofalls being hidden up there. Rounding off the dirt around the edge. Not bad. We're ready to turn this thing on. It is now 3.33. You guys worked your asses off today. For the first time ever, people that come up to this place will actually get a little bit of an impression on what's on the inside. Rich, are you ready to go ahead and turn this thing on? Yes, sir. Wow. That is a really good waterfall. You guys did a great job. Hey, how about a hand for everybody that was here today? Okay, we gotta ask Tracy right now what she thinks. It's awesome. Thank you guys very much. <laughs> so this has been a fantastic day out here at Ohio Fish Rescue. We got the pond built. Right now we're swimming in with all, all of the fish, including Paul Cafaro. And Paul, what do you want to tell all your fans about the second giveaway? We've chosen the second pond giveaway winner. Yep. It's gonna be announced sometime in May on Greg Woodstock, the Pond Guys YouTube channel. Stay tuned, you're not gonna wanna miss out. The story of the winner. The second winner. We're gonna be building Kyle Moser's pond together. Yep. And then we got a second winner. And the story is amazing, so stay tuned for it. You're gonna love it. Check out Greg Woodstock, the Pond Guy on YouTube. So you happy, Big Rich? Oh my God, ecstatic. This, this is way better than anything I thought of. Again, I underestimated you, I'm sorry. Why do you keep doing that? <laughs> <laughs> Look, it was a muddy mess, but you know what? So what? We had a great group of guys. I love build a pond days because everyone gets their hands dirty. They all experience it. I mean, and look at this. At the end of the day, this is just an absolutely spectacular water feature. Everybody that walks into this house is going to see this. There's not going to be a single UPS guy, visitor to a Ohio Fish Rescue that doesn't look at this thing and go, awesome. And that was what I love. Color changing lights. Look at that waterfall. And yes, the pond guy still has it. For all of those doubters out there, what do you think? Decent looking waterfalls? I would say yes. Love how it spans out over there. And this deep stream, the fish are gonna swim right up here and go into this upper pool up in this area. Just gorgeous. Look at this edging, just terrific. Nice beach area right here. Walk in, wade with the fish. Just wait till this all gets landscaped and cleaned up. This little piece of heaven that everybody that drives by will see. If you want a water feature like this, check out the link below to certified Aquascape contractors. You can find a guy in your area that's been trained that comes to things just like this. I 
love my job. <laughs>